to have another talk yesterday by Ms. by Ms. Buke Ozate, who gave a talk on travel and architect photography. And she has been recipient of many awards and many distinction, a very well recognized photo art artist in her, uh, in her country. So with this, uh, I thank you to our founder members for creating us this, this opportunity for all of us. And I welcome again to all of you, national as well as international people who are here with us. Thank you. I now invite Vice President Tappas, Mr. Prashant Verma, to please come and uh, start the proceedings of the day. Thank you, Mr. Prashant Verma. Ji, over to you. Prashant Ji. Awaz nahi aare. Prashant Ji, unmute. लक्ष्मी अनम्यूट कर दो प्रशांत जी को भी प्रशांत जी आवाज नहीं आ रही प्रशांत जी इसे हटा के फिर बात कीजिए वैसे माइक चल जाएगा वैसे Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's for just a technical problem. So good evening, everybody. And uh, I would like to uh, welcome all of you on this evening. And first of all, I would congratulate on the World Photography Day to everybody. So today's evening is uh, going to be very uh, learning experience for everybody. Today's uh, host, uh, our uh, mentor is uh, <coughs> Mr. Uh, C. R. Satyanarayanji, uh, who is going to uh, 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 going to give a lecture on pictorial in wildlife, which is, uh, uh, I think, uh, very unique. Uh, so I think it will be a very great experience for today. So I would like to uh, call upon Mr. Vinod Chauhan, uh, who is our president of club, uh, okay. who can say some word. Vinod, sir. Okay. Uh, my screen is, you are able to see my screen? Hello? Sir, it's half of the screen, not full. Ab? No, it's, it's half only. Ab? Yes. And now it's, no, it's okay. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. Sir, so share it so that it uh, it's spread on the whole screen. Share, share. One minute. Share one. You are able to see the screen? You are able to see the screen? Yes, sir, we can. You can just take full view. Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's all right. Sir. Full view. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome on uh, 19th August for this Tapas Deshti uh, 2020. Uh, first of all, I would like to wish everybody a happy World Photography Day. And uh, the Deshti 2020 has been going very well. The opening has been very good. And today's lecture, slide lecture by uh, Satya Narayanji. 
uh, on pictorial in wildlife. Basically, he wanted to take a lecture in pictorial, and other part was in wildlife. But I asked him, "Do you uh, carry this pictorial into wildlife in certain images?" He said, "Yeah, I do." So I said, I requested him to make a uh, uh, this uh, slide lecture on pictorial in wildlife. And today he is giving lecture on this. But before I hand over uh, the proceedings to Satyaji, I would be introducing him. But I had prepared a slideshow, and my slideshow has got stuck up. There's a technical problem there also, so I'm not able to show the slides to you. But because the slides were on media. uh the drishti 2020 coverage was on different medias probably uh, at a later stage i would be able to fix up the snack and i will show you what media was covering so there was a very good coverage of uh, drishti drishti and uh, there was the article on members uh, photographs also so that i am not able to show you right now but i will only uh, talk about satya ji now that satya ji is a very good human being and a very good photographer i happened to meet him in kazi ranga and he was my roommate also and uh, i am not able to talk about his profile also right now because it is stuck up somewhere so basically when i met him at kazi ranga that was the first time when i saw him shoot wildlife so he is a avid wildlife photographer and i welcome uh, satya ji for this presentation and uh, i now request you to kindly uh, take up the proceedings and give the slide show lecture on pictorial in wildlife and the moment my technical snag part is clear i will start up with the slide show again over to you satya ji thank you sir i i have asked you hear me Hello. Yes, Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, we can yes, hear sir. you. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Oh, uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, I am very sorry for this uh, technical uh, defect uh, from my side. Now I think everything everything is audible, and uh, now I would like to uh, wish every viewer uh, world a happy photography day. and uh, this is the time to remember our uh, father of photography dagwa uh, who brought uh, photography into this world and uh, i would like to thank uh, our uh, tri city photo art society for giving me this opportunity to give a presentation uh, on uh, pictorial in wildlife but uh, actually i had prepared for pictorial and wildlife because not many people are aware of what is pictorial photography so i would like to enhance that and uh, in my wildlife photography also i would like to show uh, how i have used uh, this pictorial effect on wildlife and uh, i would like to thank uh, 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 the tri city photo society for honoring me the distinction and uh, now i would like to say uh, before showing my photographs i would like to share a few things about myself how did i start my photography and everything and uh, it will not take much time but i will be spending more time showing photographs and explaining it to you uh, now first of all uh, my photography hands on camera started in the year 1979 during my honeymoon trip uh, with a borrowed camera and uh, my friend helped me to uh, you know load the film uh, during that time and uh, i shot the one roll and uh, by the time i rewinded it and i had not uh, rewinded it properly so i opened the back portion and uh, everything got exposed so to be on the safer side i went to a studio and uh, asked the person to load the another film He has done it wrongly and he has not loaded properly. And again, I took 36 frames and I could not uh, rewind it because it was in the end itself. So these two rules, uh, what I have made a mistake, it has taught me a lesson. And I feel the mistake is the first step of success. So whenever I load my rolls, I take an extra care 
to work the film and uh, I started my photography. And uh, 1979, 80, I was a play, table tennis player. I was playing for nationals and uh, represented Karnataka also. So I used to take my camera and uh, take photographs of action, photographs of table tennis and uh, uh, cover usually family functions and portraits and all those things. In 92, you know, my friend who was also a player, uh, he retired uh, two years before me and he uh, took uh, photography as his hobby and he used to show his photographs uh, for, for, uh, to me and I got inspired from his photograph and uh, we were together and uh, it so happened one day when the senior photographers of Bangalore like uh, C. Raj Gopal and B. Srinivas and uh, B. S. Sundaram, they all were uh, going for a short uh, trip uh, in uh, Bangalore, outskirts of Bangalore. So the one person got uh, cancelled and uh, they, my friend invited me to join the group. So that gave me the opportunity to be with the senior photographers. And uh, we about uh, 15 kilometers from uh, Bangalore, outskirts of Bangalore, we, okay. uh, I, I saw this, uh, there was a situation a young girl was washing cloths in a good lighting and everyone got down and uh, you know they started uh, taking photographs. I also got down and took photographs and after uh, satisfactorily they were taking photographs, they started guiding me, Satya, you come this side, compose like this and uh, select uh, all those things, guidance they gave me. But uh, after the event, next day when I process my negative, my first frame was the best frame of the lot. So they, when they saw the picture, they said, you have an eye for a good photography, so why don't you start? And uh, that gave me an interest and uh, uh, next year, 1992, uh, uh, I went for a Himalayan tour with my wife. And uh, that was the first trip uh, as a photographer, I took my camera and uh, my, actually there was nobody other photographers to guide me. But I went to my master C. Rajgopal uh, house and I asked him, Sir, I am going for Himalayan tour for one month. Can you please guide me how to take about photographs, how to see. And he said, uh, say, I won't be here, uh, I won't be with you when you go to Himalayas. But I will tell you three things you should always follow. First, look for proper light. Without light, there is no photography. So look for proper light and in that proper light, search for the subject, picture will be yours. This is the advice he gave me uh, before going to Himalayas and uh, uh, they guided me to how to compose and uh, how to uh, select the background and everything. So with all that in mind, I went for uh, this outing and uh, every day I used to go early morning, 6 o'clock and start my photography because as you all know, this morning, uh, Light, we call it as magic light and uh, especially in Himalayas everything looks nice and uh, that is the time when I started taking photographs and I uh, must have uh, covered uh, almost one month photography I had uh, taken around uh, 60 rolls and after coming back from the tour I actually uh, processed all the negatives uh, and uh, they, my senior photographer selected about 15 to 20 photographs well, in, the, in that trip. And uh, when I participated in all the national level, uh, international level competition, I was, I was uh, winning almost uh, every competition awards from this Himalayan tour. That is how I started uh, photography and it uh, gave me a lot of interest. In 2001, I went to Africa uh, for a one month tour covering almost five countries. There I took uh, more of my life. Before that, whenever, uh, because I am in Karnataka, we have this Kabini forest and Bandipur forest. Whenever there was an opportunity, I used to go to that forest and take pictures. So that way, whenever I am in village side, I used to have pictorial photography. I, whenever I am in forest, I used to take uh, wildlife photography. What has happened was, uh, I had interest in good uh, pictorial as well as wildlife. So, our masters are all uh, very good in pictorial photography, they guided me and uh, you know, I would like to share uh, what uh, the senior photographers has told. Pictorial photography is uh, that branch of photography where you use uh, 
can as a tool to produce a piece of art. That, that is what he said, and whatever uh, the play of light and shadow on the subject is more important than the subject. The moment, the light, play of light and shadow is very important than the subject. So I used to give uh, the pictorial effect on that, and the pictorial effect means it has to have some creativity rather than a mere document of an event or a place or a thing. It should have some creativity in it and it should draw some kind of emotional feeling. Either it can be sorrow, happy and uh, it can have an impact on the viewer. And since photography doesn't have any language barrier, it has to have it has to be accepted universally. A photo taken in India can be accepted, appreciated in America or in China. So these the four qualities of creativity, drawing some kind of emotional feeling, impact and uh, universal acceptance, it will uh, come as a, into the pictorial category. So pictorial category also can be anything. It can be landscape, it can be wildlife, it can be seascape village life, everything, uh, uh, still life, everything comes under uh, pictorial photography, but it should have these kind of uh, four qualities, creativity and uh, impact and uh, remote, it should draw some kind of emotional feeling and uh, universal acceptance. So with all that in mind, I used to take photographs and I am a businessman, a family business and uh, whenever I go for business also I used to take my camera and uh, shoot whenever, wherever it is possible, keeping in mind the uh, seniors uh, advise me and uh, everywhere I was successful with uh, three or four photographs in a trip. So that is how I started collecting my photography and still even today also I am uh, doing my photography, uh, participating in all the national and international uh, competitions. I have nearly 15,000 acceptances and I have won more than 1,000 awards. And uh, now I would like to show some of my photographs and uh, explain you who I am showing the photograph. Uh, excuse me, yes, sir? Uh, yeah. Can I please request if Mr. Vinod Chauhan can run his slide so that we all have a better introduction about you. That will help us to understand your work more and probably learn more. So if you can just wait for two minutes and if I can request Mr. Vinod Chauhan to start his slides. Yeah, just I'm sharing the screen. Yes, sir, please. Thank you. Yeah, you are able to see the screen? Yes, yes. sir. Okay, well, welcome Satya Ji. There was a technical slack. Sorry for that. Now things have set. Uh, welcome on board. Uh, before going through your uh, further through your lecture, I just wanted to tell you about what Drishti was covered in the media today. Yeah. This was in India News uh, Online dot com. This was the link. This one is the link for this news article, and it was in Himachal Dastak. It was in Janmark. Amarujala. You can see lot many guys there. And individual tapestian work was also carried out today in Danik Bhaskar. And uh, before we go further, because this is very important, Satyaji, uh, uh, during this uh, Drishti, we came up with this uh, poster flyer competition also. And this poster flyer competition, uh, it was about making of a poster, like uh, members are doing photography themselves. And uh, Bhatiaji came up with an idea. That these days, uh, basic photographers must also know how to make a poster or a flyer. Like if they want to highlight their achievements, how do they make the poster? So we had a competition, lovely competition for that. And we had declared three prizes for that. And it was decided that these three prizes would be uh, declared on uh, photography day. So I request Jasveer Singh to declare the third prize. Jasveer Ji. Jasveer Ji. He's there? Jasveer ji hai? Hello. Jasveer ji? Sir, hai mic unka mute as time. Yeah, they were. Sir, mic, are you aware? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
हाँ जी जसवीर जी थर्ड प्राइज डिक्लेयर कीजिए इस पोस्ट ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन का हेलो हेलो सर आ रही है आवाज मेरी आ रही है आ रही है सर सर थैंक यू सर मुझे ये मौका देने के लिए और मैं अनाउंस कर रहा हूँ थर्ड प्राइज अब हर डिस्ट्रिक्ट के पोस्टर का एनी वन गैस एनी वन गैस थर्ड प्राइज गोज टू मिस्टर अनुज जैन कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन अनुज जी थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सर गुड डिक्लेयर द सेकंड प्राइज सुमित जी सुमित जी है थैंक यू सर का माइक और वीडियो दोनों बंद हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन हां जी गुड इवनिंग सुमित जी Am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Yes. Any guesses for second second prize? No. Is it a male or female or? Okay. No, no. Let me let me go with that. And the second prize goes to Piyush Chitra. Oh, congrats, Piyush. Congratulations, Piyush. Deep Bhatia ji to declare the first prize. The man who was behind this poster competition, so he is the privileged to declare the first prize. Bhatia ji. Okay. So first prize goes to Mr. Hardik Agarwal. Congratulations, Hardik. This is the medal he would be getting. Congratulations, Hardik Agarwal. And This was, the post, this was the poster Hardik designed and which was used in different campaigns of uh, uh, Tapas for his district 2020. This was used in uh, various kind of social media. Okay, and now coming back to Satya Narayan ji. Uh, Satya Narayan ji's profile. i would uh, say that he was born in 1956 studied bcom llb manager partner in rajaram textiles dealer in silk sarees he lives in bangalore a former table tennis player represented karnataka twice in nationals and represented bangalore university for 5 years during 1972 to 1978 in photography in the field of pictorial and wildlife one of the top exhibitor having nearly 10000 acceptances and won more than 1000 awards and certificates in the national and international photographic competitions Photographs have been exhibited in nearly 50 countries, awarded various distinctions. Uh, the highest being the E F I A P member of Indian team in F I A P Nature Bi Biennials World Cup for the three years, uh, from 2000 for the years 2001, 3, 8, 12, 16, 18, 18, and has won awards for India. One of the key person in organizing F I A P Nature Biennial World Cup in India in the years 2010 and 2014 in Bangalore. It's commendable feat, sir. Work committee mm -hmm. member of the Federation of Indian Photography, a national body for the years 2013, 2014, and also for 2019-20. Vice president of FIP for the year 2021. One of the top exhibitor in the world. Congratulations for that, sir. In advance, one of the mm -hmm. top exhibitor in world in nature division, according to the Who's Who in PSA. Uh, worth uh, uh, appreciable, sir. And also ranked third for. Exhibitor in the world, according to PSA in Nature Division for year 2018, recently ranked number two exhibitor in the world for year 2019 in Nature Division. Member of Rotary Club or Rotary Bangalore Orchards. What does he personally say? He says that a photograph is not a piece of paper that reflects a moment. It is form of art that transforms an ordinary moment. Into an extraordinary one. Photography to me is an effort to freeze an incredible moment that I see with my naked eye. Nature's play of light stuns us with some picturesque moments that you won't be uh, that you won't to enjoy forever. Second, going with the Chinese proverb, a picture is Into worth a thousand words. words. I use my photographs as means of communication. The language of photography can depict a gamut of uh, human emotions, the pain, struggles, joys, and beauty. And uh, further, he says, I not only freeze my vision. But also my emotion in my picture. 
Every time I go through my pictures, I feel the same joy and excitement that I experienced while capturing it. Photography helps me to share my joy and happiness with the rest of the world. Next, he says, I would like to share what my master used to say. Look for proper light, search for the subject, picture will be yours. And lastly, he says, photography can record the marvelous movement of light and shadow and freeze the emotional exchange between people and nature. Uh, some of his images, as we thought Barun Sinai is a wild, uh, totally a wildlife photographer and we saw his diversity yesterday. Likewise, I used to think uh, Satya Naranji is an avid wildlife photographer, but his pictorial pictures are also worth talking about. This is lineman attacking cheetahs, kingfisher with skink, and my all, winnowing couple, the flowing returns, and my all time favorite of his pictures, cheetah chase. I think probably this must have won thousands and thousands of awards. And we are proud to announce our master distinction. Congrats, sir. Or Satya Narayanji. Thank you. Thank you. So Satya Narayanji, thanks a million. We are proud that you have represented India and uh, in many competitions and you've won many competitions and you've uh, been ranked at high, top level in nature in PSA Huzu. This is a proud moment for all of us and we are very happy that this dignified person and a very great photographer, a great person, a great human being would be there and we will take carry forward a lot of learning from you, sir, and over to you, sir. Sorry for the interruption and over to you now, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Vinod. Uh, I feel very happy and uh, for conferring with you your uh, distinction on this day, 19th of August. So it's a memorable one for me. And uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity also. I'd like to show some of my photographs and uh, uh, explain you during the photography journey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So first, uh, this is a, a thing of beauty, a joy forever, and it applies to our photography also. Whenever you take a good photograph, you feel very happy, satisfied, and uh, the right side, this is uh, my logo, and uh, normally these two E's denote eyes and you see through the eyes, freeze through the camera. That is my principle. And I always, uh, whatever I take in my camera, it is only a repetition of what I already I have picked in my mind. So normally, I won't be knowing myself what I'm going to take today when I go for photography outing. But I always look for proper light and search for the subject and I take photographs. So that is why this is my logo. and. Uh, and as already Vinod has explained my artist statement and uh, so this is uh, the photograph taken in Himalayas during my first uh, visit as a photographer uh, journey and uh, I followed this herd for almost uh, one kilometer because it is taken on a main road uh, early morning and uh, you know so many people, traffic was coming and going, he was looking back and I kept on following him and once he started uh, neglecting me and going on his own, I took this photograph. Uh, this photograph uh, has won many awards in the national and the international and uh, this is my very first picture as a pictorial photographer. And this photograph is taken in Kodekinal and uh, you know early morning this is also in my family trip my wife was not interested she was taking rest at the hotel and uh, i got up at six o'clock and uh, saw this beautiful uh, light on the branches but there was nothing for me to hold it so i told my driver to go near that uh, lake and uh, do whatever he wants to do he started washing his cloths and uh, the light, first light on the cloth is what it makes uh, more effective. And uh, the ripples here you can see, uh, which is spreading and uh, beautiful composition. 
and this is what uh, I felt uh, and these are also won many awards. And this photograph is taken in Bharatpur. Uh, even Bharatpur vehicles are not allowed uh, inside the park. So tricycle ride was there. My wife and my daughter was uh, going and I was going behind. I could see the first light on the tricycle and uh, the mist and everything. So being a pictorial photographer, instead of uh, going for uh, bird photography, I said, let me take some of the photographs and this is the result of uh, that uh, trip before reaching the Bharatpur uh, Lake. And uh, this is my first photography. I explained it to you that when I went with the senior photographs, everybody got down and uh, were taking photographs. And this is my first film in a role. So this is the first photograph as a pictorial photographer. And uh, this was shot near Bangalore, outskirts of Bangalore. And uh, this was in J Jason Mayer. Uh, actually, I had gone uh, on a family tour, Palace on Wheels uh, tour. Uh, luckily, we had an opportunity to travel on uh, Palace on Wheels uh, because generally Indians are not allowed or Indians will not be given a seat, but somehow we got the tickets uh, for Palace on Wheels and uh, they took us to this Jason map. So along with the tourists, I also looking for some good subjects. I got this subject with the evening light. And uh, this was uh, taken near Hampi in Karnataka. Uh, with the natural light and uh, you know uh, my first uh, outing uh, I had uh, taken uh, one photograph but I could not repeat the same. So every two years or three years we were going to that place whether to see whether we could get any uh, photograph of this type. The natural play of light and shadow. This is in near Hampi. Again, this is again a uh, different period. Like uh, we used to go to Hampi every two, two years or three years like that and whenever there is an opportunity we used to take. And definitely I cannot repeat what I have taken earlier. This is the situation, the play of light on the subject is different and uh, the, uh, whatever the best I could take I have taken and this is also in your company. And this one is in uh, landscape is in uh, uh, Nibra Valley, Lay Ladder. Uh, we had gone on a family tour and uh, it is a very rare situation where in the midst of the snow mountains you can see the white sand dunes and there are double hundred camels are there, also are there and it is very nice and uh, you know we had gone on a one day tour uh, to Nubra Valley I could uh, see this uh, scene actually the previous day there was a cloud burst and this is the result after the next day a cloud burst result. Uh, we were a little scared also, like uh, it never happened uh, like that. And a lot of, uh, you know, rain, it was raining and all our rain. tent also was drenched with uh, fully this thing. I closed, actually it started in the night at one o'clock. I was a little scared because there was no light, nothing. So I actually carried my camera bag, suitcase and wearing my specs I took rest. If suppose something happens, I have to go like that. Nothing happened and next day morning I could see the scene like this. So I took this in uh, Nubra Valley. And this is uh, again uh, in December, November uh, when the light is very nice uh, at early morning. Uh, we take, uh, go out for a photography outing in search of subjects where play, light up play is important. And uh, this was taken in the evening. And uh, when the just uh, sunset around the 5, the 5 o'clock or 5.15, and uh, I could see people uh, winnowing and beautiful light shaft was there. So I took this picture. Again, another trip uh, where uh, I went to a place called where that entire village was manufacturing uh, these kind of clay pots. So I got very good opportunities uh, to take photographs of uh, pots uh, with the good lighting. Again, this is in uh, near Hampi. 
Normally, uh, we go for an outing, we stay there for three, four days, look for uh, very good opportunities and uh, this is the uh, uh, photo which I got uh, on the way to uh, Hampi. Again, this is a similar place but different uh, location. People, uh, children playing in the village, uh, so a lot of uh, dust and uh, wind has a good lighting effect. And uh, this one is uh, Hampi, a beautiful place, a uh, 12th century town and uh, it is a UNESCO declared uh, place. So Hampi is a very nice place for everyone to see and uh, this is one such situation temple. And uh, recent uh, about in, uh, I had been to China, we had an exhibition in China, a place called Pingyao. It's a 12th century town where people still live there. So we had uh, an exhibition uh, about uh, 15 of us from India had gone uh, from IIPC. And uh, on our way back, we went to Shanghai. Uh, this is the photograph, uh, new Shanghai photograph from our launch. So again, this is somewhere near Hampi. So again, the play of light uh, place and uh, Definitely, the good uh, lighting was there. And you see, this is again uh, in China, the right side photograph. Actually, I have made uh, my photographs into a book form. This is from that because a lot of uh, vertical shot he could not in include in one page, so he has given two pages. It's entirely different. The uh, right side photograph was shot in uh, Pingyao. And there, uh, you know, it is a UNESCO declared, nobody is allowed to alter any front portion of the, the houses. So, old people, they come out of their house in the evening and uh, take rest in the front of their house. This is one opportunity I could get uh, to, uh, in China. And the left hand side picture is remaining the uh, outskirts of Bangalore. And this was in Munna in uh, Kerala, uh, famous for tea estates. Uh, now Tata has taken over all the tea estates there and it's a beautiful place uh, in resort. And uh, you know, we had gone for photography outing and uh, by the, when we were returning back, I could see light on this tree fully, even the stem also was lit. So we said we stopped the car and we will take some photographs. By the time the light had moved and uh, there was not light, but even then it is a good uh, play of light and shadow. And uh, I could get this picture. And uh, this one is uh, in Kunigal uh, State Farm, where uh, the horses are trained, uh, the race horses were trained there. And uh, we had an opportunity to go inside and uh, take this action in the normally in the evening they make all the horses run as an exercise part in an enclosure and uh, I took this picture from uh, you know this uh, mesh uh, octagon shaped mesh putting my lens inside and uh, I could uh, take this picture every time when it goes wrong I used to take and rewind and I used to get only one or two shots and this is one shot uh, which has won many awards and uh, now I came to know that uh, one of my vast expert, he saw my picture and he said there is a very good importance in this picture. And he explained it to me that the horses are the most graceful animal on earth. And uh, the way it walks, the way it stands, the way it uh, runs, everything is graceful. Even in our life, whatever we do, it should be graceful. And he said horses are the most obedient animal. And uh, we have to be obedient to our work and obedient to everyone. So definitely there will be a success. So uh, on this one, he also said that horses will never show tiredness. These three things, these three things if you follow in your life also, you will be very successful. So this has become very popular as per Vastu. And uh, many people are asking for me to give their uh, copy of this photograph. So this is in Kerala, a uh, uh, place called Kumarakum, where, uh, you know, in the village uh, there is no roads, 
uh, when you, if you don't if you further you can get a uh, mud road or uh, like that every tra- coming transportation is only through boats so every house where they have a station their boat and early morning at the 6 o'clock the first ray of light on the boat i could see and uh, i got this photograph this is somewhere near dalhousie uh, my trip to manali and uh, chandigarh and uh, uh, simla all those things so normally i won't remember where what i am going to take so i saw the situation there is no light anywhere only light on the trees so i asked the driver to stop and took uh, three four snaps and uh, proceeded this is the result this is in uh, nubra valley after the cloud burst so this is the one i had been to kolar lumpur on a family tour and uh, just uh, uh, during the uh, sunset i could see the natural light as well as people starting putting their lights and i was in the car and i asked the driver there was traffic light signal i asked the driver how long will stay here and he said uh, two minutes will stay here then i got down from the car and i took this photograph which has got a very good uh, cloud formation lighting and natural light also and all my photography i use natural lighting i don't use flash much uh, these are all natural lighting and this is the one i was telling you in hampi and this is one mini awards and uh, generally i am recognized as uh, flocket and satya because many of them have not seen me but they have seen my photograph when i when they personally meet me they say you are the one who has taken flock returns and this is the one photograph which has won more than 100 awards all over the world and this is in kaziranga the great indian hornbill and uh, i am very i was very lucky to get uh, the take off photograph of uh, hornbill with all the chinese uh, flowers uh, thing flame flowers and uh, as i was telling you the, the, the today's main topic is pictorial in wildlife these are the you know this is in fact uh, the play of light on the subject this is a black bird black bird will not be a good subject but uh, you can see the light from the gap between the feathers you can see the light so this is a good play of light on the subject that is what i have been a pictorial photographer i use uh, in wildlife also this way and uh, this has also won many awards uh, so this is again in a place called uh, rangan titu in near mysore uh, normally whenever we have time we go there and we come to know that uh, you know some birds have laid eggs and uh, chances of uh, photography will be there so we go there and uh, normally in during winter from november to february and these are the effect uh, play of light and shadow on the subject uh, we can get and this is indian roller also called as karnataka state bird uh, taken on the outskirts of bangalore and uh, whenever time permits we go early morning there and uh, this is on a dry out uh, lake bed Uh, earlier it used to supply water to our city now we get water from kaveri also but this has become dry places and a lot of shrubs are there and many birds and uh, birds of prey also come and uh, it will be an opportunity to take photograph from our car itself from uh, the car window and this is one such photograph this is again uh, in the left hand side is rangamthi to Uh, river and feeding in here, uh, very rare opportunity. Normally, it's uh, lands in the on the rock and give uh, feed, but uh, this was uh, during the feed in the air itself. And the right hand side is Kupu, or outskirts of Bangalore. This is again in Rangan Tipu, uh, uh, river and meeting. in all different different situations whenever we go there we will uh, have a chance to take this type of photographs and this photograph was taken in my house only uh, this bird had uh, laid eggs and uh, every day i used to watch and uh, follow it up 
and we had grown up and uh, we could uh, get this opportunity to take photograph this is again a different time two years before the previous photograph uh, this was uh, again near my in my how compound only i took this picture see this is in ranganti 2 uh, where uh, the play of light uh, you can see uh, the background is very dark but i have taken this in the evening at around 4:30 how i got this background is uh, far behind uh, the trees were in the shade so when i focus on this that becomes out of focus and became dark and uh, for my kids sound it went up and i have frozen it forever this is again uh, in uh, a uh, place called uh, Srinanga Patna in near Mysore where they have this uh, blue beater uh, uh, colony there and you will have a very good opportunity to take these photographs uh, every now and then we go there and we are lucky to get like this this is a game in Karnataka a uh, place called uh, Hosnagara near Shimoga and uh, there uh, you know this uh, Malbar parakeets uh, will come and uh, you know we uh, have set up a hide and uh, we sit there for uh, hours and uh, we could uh, if we are lucky it will come and uh, from the forest it comes and lands here and we could get this opportunity. This is in Costa Rica and in 2018 I have been to Costa Rica and uh, these uh, parakeets are uh, from Costa Rica. Again this is in Costa Rica. Uh, uh, hummingbirds. The left hand side. This is the smallest bird, uh, uh, which is approaching the flower. Uh, as it is, hummingbirds are the smallest birds. Among hummingbirds, the smallest bird, and uh, the wing uh, speed, uh, the fluttering speed is around 80 times per second. Since our camera has got uh, more than 2,000 per second, I can increase this. Uh, uh, moment and uh, th three hummingbirds uh, coming at the same time is a very rare situation. I could get like this. This is again in uh, Costa Rica hummingbird, emerald uh, ear hummingbird. And this is called as token uh, again in Costa Rica. We have to go to the highlands to get this uh, for a picture bird. And a very shy bird, and uh, normally if there is any disturbance, it will go off. Without disturbing the, the bird, we, we will get an opportunity to shoot like this very colorful pink and very colorful bird. This is also one type of token that I carry, and uh, this one is again in Costa Rica. This is in Lake Nakuru. Actually, this situation, how I got it is. Very close to this uh, uh, impala, uh, there was one uh, baboon playing with the young one. So I asked the driver to stop the car. He jammed his brakes and this got frightened. And my movement also, my uh, direction also went to this place, uh, this animal, and uh, it got uh, frozen and uh, beautiful. Because it has uh, jumped uh, more than uh, four feet, uh, jumping impala. And uh, this one is in Bandipur, uh, tiger. Uh, actually, it's called, it is no more now. It's a very famous uh, tiger in uh, Bandipur called Prince. And uh, the most, uh, highest number of photographs have been on um, this tiger in Bandipur. And uh, I, could, I'm lucky, I was lucky to sight this tiger after 18 years of my photography. And that time, the evening when the sun has already set, and uh, we, when we were going back to our uh, room, uh, another jeep informed us that there is a tiger nearby. Then we took a chance because I had not seen a tiger uh, after a very long time. So we requested the driver to go near the tiger and this is the opportunity. Because normally tigers at this green uh, background grass is very rare. And uh, this is in uh, Kaziranga. Uh, famous for rhinoceros and uh, I had gone there and uh, could get this uh, picture. This is in Lake Nakuru in Africa and uh, 
Uh, it is famous for uh, this uh, rhinoceros, and it's a beautiful place. Uh, uh, that is why I included all the trees also, which has got a different color, and uh, pictorial effect also is there. So I was uh, very much interested in to take this photograph. This is again in Masai Mara. Uh, uh, during my first trip to Africa in 2002, and I could uh, guess uh, this picture. Actually, there were more than 20 vehicles in the, when we were uh, at this point. But every time we could uh, get back, uh, backdrop uh, vehicles. But uh, our guide said all the tourist vehicles they go off, and it was it was four play. And uh, you know the driver said, "Sir, it will meet again uh, every half an hour, so do not go. You just wait, and you will get an opportunity." And uh, when all the vehicles went away, we got this uh, situation. This is again in uh, Bandipur. This uh, calf is from the nearby village. It uh, I don't know whether the tiger has killed it or anything, but uh, when we were there, it uh, dragged this. Uh, off and uh, went into the forest. Very rare and uh, I got many awards for this. This is uh, in Kadani, backwaters. Uh, there, when we went there, uh, all the lighting was very bad, dull, and I thought my today's photography is over, but there was light uh, between the clouds, and I could see light in the branches. And I was doing a pictorial photograph, at least you can take this uh, pictorial photograph. And when we were taking, the uh, elephant came into the water and uh, we got this uh, situation photograph. And this was an Indian entry for the World Cup, we, where we won the gold medal in uh, South Africa. And individually I won the bronze medal for this picture, uh, Karshti Tusker. And uh, this is a very rare situation uh, in uh, Kabini where uh, we were in a boat, our eye level was uh, ground level. So, uh, this perspective of uh, sighting the elephant will be very nice. Normally, you don't get this opportunity unless you are in a boat and the uh, water level is ground level. Because uh, in the forest, you go in a vehicle and uh, the eye level will be different. So, I was taking this photograph uh, in a changing the lens. And this, uh, the bad elephant came as uh, swam across and it came to this island. We thought there would be some fight between these two, but uh, it did happen. But uh, our boat was moving and this elephant in the front was going back. That was coming on the right hand side and I, from one angle, I could get this uh, image. This is in Zimbabwe. Uh, in 2002, I traveled uh, uh, in Africa uh, visiting five countries, and this is in Zimbabwe. This uh, place uh, called uh, Ronki National Park, in the evening, almost uh, about, uh, we could see about 300 elephants coming to the water hole, and this is one such situation. And uh, uh, very nicely located, there were no elephants, uh, only three of them, so I could get this picture. And this is in Zambia, this uh, is called the Zambezi River. And uh, you know, there uh, it is actually not allowed for tourists, only my friend uh, who was in uh, Lusaka, he got permission and we were staying in a lion camp. Only researchers and scientists uh, were allowed to stay there, but we could uh, stay for uh, two days. And uh, even our Dr. Sina also was there and we could get this. Normally, in the daytime, the sepals won't come out of the water. I don't know how. When we were watching this, it came out of the water, took a half turn and again went into the water. This I got the situation. So, normally in a forest, you have to be alert always. Uh, you should not miss any opportunity. And uh, again, like this, you see the position of the legs. You cannot make them stand like that. What happened was, uh, there was a bubbling playing with the anyone and uh, I again it, I told the driver to stop the car, jeep and uh, he jammed the brakes and for that song, the left zebra tried to escape from the right side, uh, this one right was tried to escape from the left side, they both clashed, my camera also shifted to this place, I got this, uh, uh, it is very difficult to make them stand like that also. 
and this is, uh, has won uh, in the national level uh, for our FIP inter club contest also. See, they say zebras are uh, uh, strikes are not similar. That can it can defy this statement. Uh, see, the, all the lines it is matching, and uh, I cited this from the distance and I put this picture. From my click zone, it went up on, uh, on their own. This got separated, that it went up. So this was a very rare situation in the zebra position. And again, this is in uh, Zimbabwe. I was telling you there is a water hole, and uh, more than 300 elephants uh, come there uh, to drink water or to play in water. Uh, the beauty of them is if one herd is in the water, it will not go into the water. It will go roaming the water hole and uh, even after going to three rounds, uh, the elephants which are there in the water, if it doesn't uh, give way, the, the main elephant will drive away the elephants. So this is one such opportunity uh, where uh, it was going around the lake and uh, beautiful reflection was there. This is in Gorongoro in Tanzania and uh, very vast uh, dry land and uh, I could see zebras and uh, farming and uh, the background also is adding to that, uh, the back uh, two zebras also is adding to this and I could uh, take this picture. This is again uh, in Zimbabwe, uh, uh, in, uh, the, I was explaining it to you how uh, one herd of elephants uh, going round and uh, waiting for the other elephant herd to leave. This is one is another opportunity. We were over there, we were there only. This is in uh, Karoba uh, National Park and uh, I could get this uh, beautiful lighting and uh, the uh, situation. It is a very shy uh, animal and I could get this picture. This is in uh, Sri Lanka a place called Yala, which is famous for uh, leopards. And I had gone to Sri Lanka uh, for one of the international competition as a judge. And the local people, uh, organizers, they took me to Yala for three days tour. And this uh, leopard, actually I sighted in the early morning at 7.30, uh, resting on the branch of a tree, but not moving. We, I visited that place almost uh, every two hours gap or like that and in the end uh, we could not, it, it was not moving, it was not coming down. So in the end, before going to the gate, I requested the jeep man to go, if we are very close to that place where the, we saw the leopard, he said we are very close to that place. Then we took a chance, I had not uh, opened my camera also, we had closed my camera box, everything. And uh, it was, uh, you know, shaking its uh, body and uh, driver warned us that uh, it is definitely, it is going to get down. So what happened was at that time there were three, four jeeps uh, waiting. I could not get the image properly. And uh, he said the driver told me that, sir, it has been sat there for almost uh, seven, eight hours. So definitely it will go to the water. We will wait there at the water hole. If we get a chance, if, if it comes that way, uh, we will uh, have a very good chance. Sun was setting down and this is the morning, uh, evening light uh, I could get in the evening. And this is just before uh, drinking, this is the situation. These are the things, uh, you know, I want to explain you how the pictorial effect on wildlife. This is a classic example. Normally, leopards will not come out of the, uh, in the evening. So this has got a chance and the sun was setting down and I could see the light, uh, ring light and uh, I don't think anybody has uh, taken leopard with this type of light and uh, I was lucky to get this light and uh, I must have shot at least 200 photographs. Every step I followed because situation is very good and I could get this whole picture. And uh, this one is in... Uh, Outskirts of Bangalore, Kesargata, a very rare situation and uh, normally if you go in a wildlife or bird photography, if you know the behavior of uh, any birds or animals, it is easy for you to take photographs. This bird, you know, when it catches the food, 
it catches up the plea and uh, tries to adjust. So it passes the inside and uh, adjusts its position to swallow. And this is one situation and I could get this image, uh, you feel that it is still alive. But a uh, very rare situation and uh, very lucky to get this picture also. Again, this is in Heserveta and uh, like, uh, you know, this uh, the uh, bird was having a feed and this was trying to catch it. So it uh, landed and uh, I could get this picture. This is again in uh, Africa, in a place called Ndutu and uh, what has happened was, uh, you know, we followed this uh, cheetah with the young one, uh, Sabadai cheetah, uh, looking for prey. Uh, we followed these uh, two cheetahs uh, for almost two hours and we could sight uh, this uh, hunting. And uh, you know, the, the cheetah, mother cheetah, you will see the position, it is in a very precarious uh, condition, situation between the horns, it has taken it risk and uh, try to attack and uh, uh, put the... And uh, this uh, subadult cheetah was, uh, uh, you know, trying to help. And this has won many awards in the national and international uh, competitions. And this is my favorite uh, picture, uh, won many awards, more than 100 awards uh, all over the world. And uh, this situation, you see the situation, the gazelle uh, escaped from this. It was so close, even it had opened its paws and the, the males were also projecting. That situation it has escaped. And uh, luckily it got maneuvered in uh, very close to our vehicle so I could get this shot. Normally uh, what happens is uh, we are not supposed to go very close to the animal if there is a hunting. Once it is started with hunting, you can approach a little nearby and it so happens with the maneuvering, escaping, maneuvering, everything. Uh, luckily it happened very close to our place and our jeep so I could get this uh, shot. And this was in uh, Hampi, uh, archaeological uh, district, and uh, the formation of rocks is very unique in this place. And it is only in this place you can see this type of rock formation. Uh, 12th century town, where uh, you know people used to sell uh, rubies, pearls in all the streets. It was so rich, uh, Vijayanagar Empire. So this place is now uh, UNESCO recognized and affiliated uh, this thing. Uh, you are not supposed to do any alteration or anything like that. So many tourists from all over the world visit this place. And uh, this one is in uh, Sri Lanka, a place called uh, Sigiriya, a 5th century painting, uh, natural painting. Luckily when I was climbing around that right Actually, the king in Sibiria has built a palace on the top of a huge rock, uh, killing his father, and uh, he was settled there. He, uh, he entered a very good uh, scenic uh, place, and while going there to the top, I saw this uh, natural light entering in this cave, and I saw this photograph. And, uh, there inside the cave, we are not supposed to use flash. I, natural light only, I took this uh, photograph. And uh, this is a uh, travel uh, photography and uh, a very rare situation where uh, these uh, vehicles are surrounded with uh, zebras. They are also traveling uh, parallelly to the jeep. I was looking behind and I could see this uh, situation and uh, I took this uh, photograph titled as Traffic Jam and this has won many awards in the national and international competitions. And again, this is in a place called Ndutu. And uh, you know, when we were uh, looking for some uh, hunting, uh, one uh, cheetah from behind uh, climbed on this vehicle. And the guide uh, the, he said, "Don't do, don't disturb. It will not do any harm." And uh, we, those uh, my friends had very good opportunity to close, take it from uh, very close range. But I had the opportunity as a travel uh, photographer. I could take this photograph. 
And uh, th these are the one uh, I have in my collection. And thank you very much for uh, viewing this photograph. And that is the end of it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Satyanarayana. It was a wonderful presentation. Definitely very enriching experience for all of us. Thank you. Your lens sitting in our uh, houses. And I congratulate you for having received the honorary master's of Tapas. Okay. It is an honor, indeed honor for us also. Okay. And uh, for, because you you are such, a, such an honored person. So it is a privilege for Tapas to be associated with somebody as great as you. Thank you Thank so you. much, sir. So now I may I please invite Mr. Chauhan, President Tapas, to please say a few words of uh, and uh, thank the speaker of today. Thank you. Uh, thank Over you. to Mr. Chauhan. Thank you, Satya Narayanji. Thank you. Breathtaking, captivating session, a phenomenal session. Uh, the best part I liked about your this slideshow was the use of light which you have carried in all the images. It was so soothing, so breathtaking, so captivating. I was just watching how beautifully you had used the light. And like yesterday, we had the session of Dr. Barun Sinaji. That was my travel into Kuru So we traveled from, uh, in that session, we moved from travel category to the wildlife. And we also Hello, Lakshmi. Lakshmi, if you can please mute others, except Mr. Chauhan in, at this moment. Thank you. I'm audible? Yes, I'm sir, audible. you are audible. Yes, sir. So like... Last day's session, we moved from travel to wildlife. Today's session, you carried us from pictorial to wildlife. So there was dearth of pictures, which was like you, you, one picture was better than the other. So I was just wondering when this session would end. Because I was thinking that we will continue, continue, continue with such images. Thank you very much. And I really want to thank you for one more thing that you also uprightly uh, accepted my request to have this slide session for Vishti 2020. So, what I can say that this lecture, this, uh, the speakers we are having, the mentors we are having, they all are great uh, photographers. And today amongst us, there are many people like the international photo artists also, they are there. Some national big names are there. And <laughs> some people are there from like last, uh, Aditya Garwala ji, I saw he was in both the sessions. Today also he was there. And especially I want to thank Silvana Ratter also. So Silvana Ratter travels somewhere around 600 miles yesterday, last night, to make it sure that she attends this session. And today, Subrata Bajzak is also there. And uh, Abhishek Das, there are not many people who are there to like, and we had promised them that we would be giving, giving them distinctions. First and foremost, uh, congratulations to all of them. And uh, it was a promise to all these guys that uh, last time also they waited for a long time. Session went a bit long and they had, uh, just had to leave because of their prior assignments. And today also they are there. So I think if probably we could uh, take up this uh, uh, giving of the distinction to these people. So that would be there. And Bhatiaji, what do you say? Can we have this session for them? Bhatiaji nahi hai. Uh, Satya Narayan ji, once again, thanks a million. Uh, I have been with you in Kazi Ranga. We've had lovely uh, moments there. I've seen you picture there. I've learned a lot from you. And the discussions we've had during Kazi Ranga, they have changed my mindset. And you have done a world of good and million of people, like thousands of photographers all over the world. They might have benefit today because of this lovely session. It was so simple from the deep core of your heart. You made it very simple and a lot of learning uh, carry forwards from here. And I think Bhatia ji is there. Yes, yes. Hanji Vinod Bhatia ji, we can start with distinctions because people are there for the last two, three days, uh, two days rather. So, yes, sir. Uh, sure. Okay. So, I'll just uh, try to... I'm not able to share the screen. But uh, Mr. you I can stop the sharing screen sharing. Mr. Satanan has to stop screen sharing. Okay. Uh, now I will share it. Yeah. Um, uh, able to see? 
First of all, I hello everybody. Thank you for inviting me to be here with you together in this evening. I feel honored to be conferred Tapas uh, honorific fellowship distinction. So heartily thank you. It's an honor and a joy to be part of your big family. Thank you to Vinod first of all. Yes, I met you personally, and it was a, a pleasure. And I hope to to live this again soon. Um, in the first, uh, the second time, not in the second time actually. Uh, I thank you to to Mr. Netu Katia, Dep Patia, to whole club uh, for for be there for me and to pro propose me for the distinctions. Thank you very much for your work that you are doing there. Um, I I hope. Even if it's a dream, maybe to meet you all someday, <laughs> this will be very great. And uh, not at last, happy World Photography Day to everybody. And don't lose your love for photography and your passion. This brings us together all the time. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations, Silvana. And Silvana, hope you remember. Look at me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think Abhishek Ji is there. Abhishek Das. Yes, Vinod Ji. Good evening. Good evening, Abhishek Ji. Uh, we feel uh, pleasure. Uh, this is a pleasure, and uh, we feel humbled and honored to uh, bestow upon you this fellowship of Honorary F Tapas. And uh, if you would like to say a couple of words for a minute, so over to you, Abhishek Ji. Yeah. First of all, thank you, Vinod Ji. Thank you so much for like uh, giving this uh, fellowship honor to me. And at the same point of time, I'm also giving my thanks to Mr. Deep Bhatia and as well as Nikhil Ma'am. And uh, from me, like uh, as you all know, maybe like I am working as a photo journalist and I am working with a international news agency that is Sopa Images Limited at Hong Kong, and I am their Asia representative. I'm based at Kolkata, and my main genre is photo journalism, and I am a journalism and documentary photographer. So, like uh, this is a tough time that is going on. Like this COVID and pandemics are going on. But as you know, like for a journalist, like it is very difficult to stay at home. We are one of the frontline workers. We have to go every day on uh, work, and we have to go. I mean, in front of the corona patients, to I mean everything. Like we are shooting on daily basis, so there are very high risk while working at uh, in front of everything. So anyhow, we have to stay safe. Uh, whoever is there, like uh, whoever is supporting in these things, like the doctor, the nurses. Everybody is. I mean, as uh, Vikas Sinha said, was there yesterday. Like uh, he was one of the like frontliner. He was also doing the same thing. So anyhow, uh, my uh, heartiest thanks to everybody uh, for honoring the, uh, this uh, fellowship to me. And uh, this is the best day. Like it's a world photographic day, and uh, it's a bit the best moment. Like I am getting this honor. So thank you once again. Thank you so much, Vikas family. Thank you. Congratulations, Abhishek. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And congratulations, Abhishek ji. Thank you. Uh, like uh, basically all the distinctions, fellowship, master, and grand master, they have been dispatched to all the people we had declared yesterday. And okay. uh, like, if anybody is there, because I am not able to see all the people here. If anybody is there, because the names had been announced, and personally I had messaged also, and I had uh, sent on so, uh, WhatsApp also and Messenger also on mail also. I know Subrata Bazek is there, but uh, I will call him later on. Any other buddy is there, Bhatia ji? If you can see and we all have any distinction or honors, Bilal. Uh, uh, 
अगर कोई है तो अपना माइक अनम्यूट करके नाम बता दीजिए मैं वो उनका वो निकाल दूंगा आई जस्ट टेक आउट देयर डिस्टिंक्शन यू कैन अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ एंड कॉल अपॉन दैट यू आर देयर रिक्वेस्ट सर वीजीएम नायर वीजीएम नायर ओ सॉरी आई सॉरी आई डोंट हैव अ कैमरा इन माय डेस्कटॉप Yeah, yeah, Mr. Nai, you can go ahead. Share your views. Uh, oh. See, I am a uh, low profile photographer. Uh, one minute, uh, Mr. Nai, uh, Tapas is delighted to honor you with their master, Honorable M. Tapas. Uh, anything now you want to say for a minute or two? Go ahead. Okay, sir. I am. I am. I am a little bit different from you. I now uh, concentrate on three D photography only. Uh, yeah, we met in America, and you shared everything about that. Yeah, and yeah. And last two years, I am in the world uh, top uh, 3D exhibitors, and uh, I am the only Southeast Asian in the list for the last four years. And I, I am a life member of La, uh, Lucknow Camera Club, and but now staying at uh, Trivandrum in Kerala, extreme south. and all i got uh, apsa qpsa and three star in uh, 3d exhibitions so far i got only 75 uh, uh, acceptances and award three four awards in 3d normally 2d photographs i use for for family purpose only thank you congratulations vijay nair Congratulations, VGM Nair. Got to learn a lot from you about this 3D. Hardy okay. Uh, one more thing. If you want to see some of my photographs, you can visit uh, PSA Digital dot org. Not PSA org. PSA Digital dot org. I am there in group 16 and 68. I am also the assistant webmaster for that uh, group. We have got uh, now 96 groups uh, in there. Each group is having seven members. <coughs> right, sir. right, sir. right, sir. We'll be there shortly. Many more who are listening to you would get connected to you there. Uh, thank you very much, and heartiest congratulations once again from thank Tapas. You. And right. anyone else there? They can unmute themselves. I'll take out the distinction. A couple of minutes to say words of inspiration, motivation. uh we feel proud to announce the highest grand master honorable grand master tapas on subrata bazak who is one of the finest and greatest photographers the country has produced i have had many interactions with subrata bazak i personally met him in couple of we met in china we met in america one thing i can say about this person is down to earth and very simple and very humble person very rare few people you come across who are people like subrata bazak so subrata bazak if you are there please is he there subrata can unmute himself i don't see subrata ji dikh rahe hain Subrata Kumar Das. Subrata Bhaisak. No. Nay no, sir, he is not there. No, I'm not. Nay. No. Finally, once again, congratulations, heartiest congratulations to all the people who have been conferred with fellowship, master, and grand master. One thing I can say that this Drishti 2020 has truly lived up to its name. 
of the tag which is it used beyond borders so like 18 countries people have been the recipient of tapas distinction and we've got connected with the with the bar barriers of borders they have not been there photographers across the world have met on this platform we've loved and shared the moments the slide shows by our distinguished distinguished mentors so every moment has been enjoyed by the members of tapas and all the people nationally and globally who got connected to this uh, drishti 2020 wish you all a very happy photography world day and uh, i would request now the joint secretary to continue with the proceedings thank you thank you mr chauhan so first of all i congratulate everybody who have been recipient of various awards from tapas it is a truly truly honor for all of us to be associated with such great photographers worldwide like sir said that you know 18 countries so it's definitely a pleasure for tapas i congratulate everybody and special thanks to those who are here to grace the occasion of drishti with us silvana retter abhishek das and vgm nayar so thank you so much to give us a Speak or just an introductory word about your work. I I will now like to invite Mr. Parveen Jaggi. I would like to invite Mr. Parveen Jaggi. So uh, Lakshmi ji, please unmute him. Who is being the guiding torch and director of the show here also, Drishti 2020, and of course under the visionary execution of Mr. Deep Bhatia and Mr. Vinod Chauhan. Thank you. Please, sir, over to you, Mr. Parveen Jaggi. Chair. Hello, sir. everybody. first of all happy photography day and it's a 194th day when first camera slide was uh, created and uh, 181st photography day after its registration as a photography in the world uh, and mujhe badi khushi hai ki drishti 2020 ke antargat ek online photography exhibition hui aur uske liye आप सब ने इसको देखा सराहा और प्रयास किया और मैं इसके लिए सबसे पहले तपस और उसके सब मेंबर्स का धन्यवादी हूं और उसके बाद विनोद सर भाटिया सर नीतू मैम जो मेरे लिए गा, गाइडिंग टॉर्च हैं मेरे मेंटर्स हैं और उसके अलावा मैं सबसे पहले अपनी टीम से का धन्यवाद कर दूं फिर उसके बाद बात करता हूँ सबसे पहले मैं उसमें धन्यवाद करना चाहूंगा प्रशांत जी का धनलक्ष्मी का आशुतोष ध्रुव पीयूष पलवी मैम और हार्दिक और डॉक्टर आरजू जो आज के हमारे एंकर भी हैं और इसके बाद आप सबका धन्यवाद कि आप लोगों ने इसे इतनी अच्छी तरह सराहा दृष्टि 2020 बियॉन्ड बॉर्डर्स का एक ख्याल जो एक महीना पहले लिया गया था उसको मूर्त रूप देने के लिए हमें सिर्फ पंद्रह दिन का टाइम मिला लेकिन उस दौरान सभी सदस्यों ने सभी मेंबर्स ने अपने अमूल्य सुझाव सुजेशंस और अपने क्वेरीज दी और हमने उसको पूरा करते हुए अपनी सिलेक्टिंग टीम में अनुज जी राजेश आर्या जी विनोद विनोद सर हैं भाटिया सर हैं नीतू मैम हैं डॉक्टर खन्ना हैं पंधेर जी हैं इन्होंने अपने काम के साथ मुझे प्रेरित किया और हम यहाँ तक पहुंचे आप सभी से निवेदन है कि आप हमारे वेबसाइट तपस डॉट को डॉट इन पे जाकर ई बुक को देख सकते हैं और वहां पे अपने कमेंट्स भी लिख सकते हैं अगर आपको पसंद आए जो भी फोटो पसंद आए आप उसके लिए भी लिख सकते हैं और इसके अलावा वापस मुद्दे पे आते हुए वर्ल्ड फोटोग्राफी डे है दृष्टि 2020 का ये छठा तपस का ये है जिसमें ट्वेंटी दृष्टि हुई और मुझे खुशी है कि मैं इसका चेयरमैन था लेकिन मेरे अकेले से ये कुछ नहीं था ये पूरी टीम का वर्क था और पूरी टीम की तरफ से मैं आप सबको धन्यवाद देता हूं और उम्मीद करता हूं कि अगले साल हम इससे भी बढ़िया शो लेके आए और उन सब लोगों का को कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन जिन्होंने जिनको तपस की तरफ से फेलोशिप टेंट मास्टर्स की खिताब मिले हैं और उम्मीद करते हैं कि आप दुनिया को अभी और अपने कैमरे की नजर से आश्चर्यचकित करेंगे इसी के साथ धन्यवाद thank you thank you thank you mr pravin jaki it was a uh, wonderful listening to your quick and crisp speech now i would like to invite our vice president tapas mr prashant verma so mr prashant verma are you here with us yeah 
सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक मिस्टर सी सत्यनारायण जी आज आपका जो सेशन था एक्सट्रीमली बहुत ही बढ़िया रहा और आज हमें पता चला कि पिक्टोरियल इन वाइल्ड लाइफ फोटोग्राफी होती क्या चीज है तो जो आपकी जर्नी रही है कि क्या आपने कैसे 1979 में फोटोग्राफी शुरू करी और कब आप हिमालयन ट्रिप पर गए और फिर आपने अपने सीनियर से ट्रिप्स भी ली के क्या आपको वहाँ किस चीज़ का ध्यान रखना किस चीज़ का ध्यान नहीं रखना फिर आपने कुछ पॉइंट्स बताए कि किसी भी फोटो में क्रिएटिविटी इमोशन और इम्पैक्ट होना बहुत जरूरी है और तभी वो पूरे यूनिवर्स के अंदर एक्सेप्ट होती है फोटो फिर आके जो आपकी जो इमेजेस थी जिसमें सभी इमेजेस में जो मुझे कॉमन और बहुत अच्छी चीज लगी वो ये लगी कि जो कि फर्स्ट लाइट जिसमें आपने फर्स्ट लाइट का बहुत अच्छे से यूज किया है चाहे वो आपका लैंडस्केप हो चाहे वो वाइल्ड लाइफ हो चाहे वो बर्ड फोटोग्राफी हो चाहे वो जनरल पर्पज फोटोग्राफी हो लेकिन उसमें बेहतरीन फोटोग्राफ थी मेरी कुछ जो मुझे बहुत अच्छी फोटोज लगी तो वो जो बोट वाली जिसमें बोट में फर्स्ट लाइट आपकी आई हुई है फोटो में वो बहुत अच्छी फोटो थी तो और एक बार फिर मैं आपका धन्यवाद कहूंगा और सभी का धन्यवाद जितने भी लोग यहाँ पर मौजूद हैं आप लोगों ने अपने बिजी शेड्यूल से टाइम निकाला और आप लोग यहाँ सब इकट्ठा हुए बस दैट्स इट और अगेन थैंक यू एवरीवन नाउ ओवर टू आरसू जी थैंक यू थैंक यू मिस्टर वर्मा सो यस डेफिनेटली वेरी वेल समराइज ऑफ इंटायर जर्नी ऑफ मिस्टर सत्यनारायण I would like to now invite Mr. Anuj Chen, who is also picking up his taste in wild photography, and he has been a speaker for a lot of our in in-house workshops where he has been teaching a lot of photography to all of us. So I now please welcome and invite Mr. Anuj Chen to give his review of on today's event. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Arzu ji. Uh, first, I would like to thank uh, Vinod ji and Tapas because it's only because of them that we got a chance to listen and to see some jaw-dropping images by this wonderful artist. Uh, the meeting started with uh, uh, some glitches, um, not some glitches. In fact, a lot of glitches. Uh, but at, as they say, uh, all is well that ends well. So, as Sathya ji said, play of light and shadow is more important than the subject, and it was clearly seen in all his images. I was really impressed by the way he uses light. I think uh, that's the essence of photography. Also, he really has the eye to see a beautiful picture in an ordinary scene. You have a beautiful variety of some rare moments in your kitty, sir. Thank you so much for enlightening us with your vast knowledge. I'm sure that this presentation today will really help us in, in improving our photography. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you once again. Over to you, Arzu ji. आजू जी आपका म्यूट आपका माइक म्यूट है सॉरी सॉरी आई डिड नॉट रियलाइज सॉरी यस थैंक यू मिस्टर जैन आई वुड नाउ लाइक टू इनवाइट मिस धन लक्ष्मी वी आल्सो हैड अ गिव अवे प्राइस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन व्हिच शी विल बी मेकिंग अनाउंसमेंट्स अबाउट अलोंग विद आवर पोस्टर कंपटीशन ड्यूरिंग द इवेंट ऑफ दृष्टि 2020 यस मिस लक्ष्मी धन लक्ष्मी आर यू हियर यस ओवर टू यू थैंक यू थैंक यू अर्जुन जस्ट गिव मी सेकंड धन लक्ष्मी यस कैन यू हियर मी Oh yes, you are very clear. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Over to you. Start. Okay. I'm... Okay. So uh, we uh, started this uh, giveaway on seventeenth August, and uh, as today is the World Photography Day, we thought uh, this would be the best day to announce the winner. So let me share my screen, and uh, winner sir, con uh, announce him. Uh. सिन्हा सर तो नहीं है वहां पर शायद आज आदित्य सर थे आदित्य सर देखा था मैंने आदित्य सर है अभी अभी नहीं अभी नहीं है तो आई थिंक कि हम अपने मेंटर को ही सत्यनारायण जी को ही एक ये अपॉर्चुनिटी देते हैं कि वो गिव अवे जो हमारा कंपटीशन वी हैड दिस गिव अवे कंपटीशन वी स्टार्टेड ऑन सेवनटीन आई थिंक लक्ष्मी राइट सो फॉर दिस गिव अवे कॉम्पिटिशन No other person can be the right one right now. So, Satyanarayan ji, kindly announce the winner. Okay, uh, uh, so I'm sharing the screen where I will be uh, picking up the comment uh, randomly. Okay, so can you tell about what was the competition like? Yeah, sure. Uh, the giveaway competition was um, regarding. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, we're going to give a lens call. 
whoever the winner will be. And the rules were to follow uh, the Instagram page and subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, uh, like the Facebook page. These were the three rules to be eligible to be in the contest and also the uh, contest uh, contestant should be a resident of India. So I do see that we got uh, 34 uh, comments on that. So let me see. So here is the start button. I'm gonna press it and we'll get the winner, get to know the winner. Okay, sir. Shall I? Yes. Satyanarayan ji. Okay. Satyanarayan ji hai. पहले चेक कर लो इसको एक मिनट होल्ड कर लो सत्यनारायण ही इज हियर ही इज हियर ही इज हियर मे बी उनका म्यूट है उनको अनम्यूट कर दीजिए सत्यनारायण नाउ कैन हियर यस सो सत्यनारायण जी यू हैव टू अनाउंस द विनर राइट ओके लेट मी आई सी ओके आई आई प्रेस द स्टार्ट बटन एंड वी विल सी द विनर ओके Pratik Singh Gambhir. Pratik Singh Gambhir, congratulations. Yeah. So, I'll 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 text I'll message him Thank you, Ms. Lakshmi. Thank you, and I congratulate all to the winner for the event. And this was again a vision of uh, Bhatia sir that uh, Photomania page was launched with the entire effort of the entire team. Thank you. So I would now like to invite Mr. Deep Bhatia, advisor Tapas, who has been a guiding torch for the entire conceptualization. Probably of all the activities that have been carried out of the diploma course, and of course the words are probably less that are going to fall short when I start talking about him. So an inspiration for all of us, and like how Mr. Vinod Chauhan always addresses him as his mentor. So thank you, sir, and I welcome you here to please give vote of thanks for today's event. Thank you, sir. Over to you. Thank you, Dr. Arju. Uh, good evening, friends. Uh, मेरा नाम दीप भाटिया है सबसे पहले मैं आज जितने भी हमारे गेस्ट और पार्टिसिपेंट जूम में आए हैं ज्वाइन किया हमें उनका सभी का थैंक्स करता हूं और उसके बाद हमारे जो गवर्निंग कौन है वॉलेंटियर्स है दृष्टि टीम एडिड बाई प्रवीण जग्गी और हमारे प्रेसिडेंट मिस्टर विनोद चौहान की वजह से आज ये सक्सेसफुल हुआ है इसके अलावा हमारे जो चीफ एडवाइजर थे मिस्टर अदित अग्रवाल जी आज थे या है उनका भी मैं थैंक्स कर हमेशा रहता है और आ, मीडिया और प्रेस का मैं थैंक्स करता हूं कि काफी बढ़िया रेच हमारे इवेंट का कर रहे हैं सो so, फाइनली आज का जो स्लाइड प्रेजेंटेशन था सत्यनारायण के थ्रू बहुत ही बढ़िया बड़ी आउटस्टैंडिंग जबरदस्त प्रोग्राम था जिसे कि बहुत लर्न करने को मिला और मैं उनसे रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा जरा हमें तपस में आते रहें और अपना या अपना क्रिएटिविटी हमारे साथ शेयर करें सो so, इसके साथ ही थैंक यू ऑल शुक्रिया धन्यवाद थैंक यू मिस्टर भाटिया I would now like to invite Mr. Prashant Verma once again, our Vice President of Tapas, to please de declare the ceremony closed for today. Thank you. Over to you, Mr. Prashant. So, uh, thank you, Arzu, ma'am. Uh, thank you, uh, everyone, uh, for uh, joining us uh, today's excellent session. So, today's our session is complete. And uh, कल के लिए हमारा सेशन जो रहेगा वो मिस डॉक्टर अरुण खन्ना जी का रहेगा जो टॉपिक रहेगा एरियल ट्रैवल फोटोग्राफी तो मैं कल के लिए सभी को इनवाइट करना चाहता हूं कि कल साढ़े छः बजे हम लोग फिर लाइव होंगे सो आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट ऑल ऑफ यू
again uh, happy world photography to all of you and thanks for joining thank you so much thank you thank you thank you very much thank you all see you tomorrow 6:30 thank you thank you thank you very much see you thank you bye have a nice evening good night